distant human-made object, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft is an interstellar space, the space between the stars. After 46 years of hurtling through the cosmos, NASA's Voyager probes have made a discovery that's sending shockwaves through the scientific community. Despite their limited memory and sluggish data rates, these 1,977 launched spacecraft have been trailblazers in our quest to understand the universe. Now, Voyager 1 has transmitted data that's leaving experts scratching their heads and raising alarms. The information about its control system is at odds with its current operations, hinting at something that seems almost impossible. Join us as we journey through the stars to unravel this cosmic mystery. On September 5th, 1977, Voyager 1 was launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, aboard a Titan 3E e Centaur rocket, marking the start of a journey that would push the limits of human exploration. Just 13 days earlier, Voyager 2 had begun its own parallel voyage into the cosmos. Originally tasked with investigating the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, these daring spacecrafts far surpassed their initial objectives. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have shattered records, surviving longer than any spacecraft before them. Now, more than 15 billion and 12 billion miles from Earth respectively, they have ventured into interstellar space, far beyond the Sun's influence. The data they've sent back has provided scientists with invaluable insights into regions of the galaxy previously uncharted. We'll talk more about one amazing and unanticipated discovery later on, a finding that has left scientists astounded and eager for answers. Now, when they first ventured into the outer reaches of our solar system, their discoveries stunned scientists and shattered preconceived notions. Jupiter and Saturn were not the cold, dead planets we once thought. Instead, they were alive with moons brimming with volcanic fury and icy secrets. Voyager 2 made history by becoming the first spacecraft to fly past Uranus and Neptune, unveiling a treasure trove of new knowledge. It captured Neptune's fierce winds, reaching speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour, and discovered icy volcanoes on Triton, Neptune's largest moon. Meanwhile, Voyager 1 got up close with Titan, Saturn's enigmatic moon, revealing its thick, hazy atmosphere. After that, the Voyager spacecraft set their sights on a bold new mission to probe the farthest reaches of space. In 2013, NASA made an exhilarating announcement. Voyager 1 had crossed the boundary into interstellar space, leaving behind the Sun's protective bubble. This area, known as interstellar space, is where the Sun's particles and magnetic influence give way to the vastness between stars. By 2018, Voyager 2 had followed suit, entering interstellar space from a staggering 17.7 billion kilometers away from the Sun. These pioneering spacecrafts became the first to journey beyond our solar system, uncovering secrets about the interaction between the interstellar medium and the solar wind, the continuous stream of charged particles from the Sun. Their findings have illuminated our understanding of the heliosphere, the immense bubbles surrounding our solar system, and the heliopause, the outer boundary where the solar wind meets interstellar space. NASA reports that the voyages have revealed cosmic rays are approximately three times more intense outside the heliopause compared to within the heliosphere. Combining these groundbreaking discoveries with data from later missions, scientists are piecing together a richer picture of our Sun and its relationship with the wider cosmos. Then, in 2022, scientists made a jaw-dropping announcement. Voyager 1 had detected a mysterious humming noise coming from the near vacuum of interstellar space. This eerie sound was linked to faint waves in the tiny amounts of gas drifting through the vast emptiness. Nicola Fox, the director of NASA's Heliophysics Division, highlighted the groundbreaking nature of these findings. 
The Voyager missions have been pivotal in revealing the Sun's influence across our solar system, Fox said. Over 45 years, they've transformed our understanding in ways no other spacecraft could. Each Voyager is powered by a plutonium-based thermoelectric system, which gradually loses heat and power as the plutonium decays. To manage this, NASA has had to shut down all non-essential systems and even some that were once deemed crucial, including heaters that protect the instruments from space's intense cold. Remarkably, despite these drastic measures, all five instruments that had their heaters turned off in 2019 are still functioning. NASA experts are left astonished, trying to unravel the mystery of how these venerable probes continue to defy the odds and operate in frigid temperatures well beyond their design limits. Scientists have also stumbled upon something truly bizarre at the edge of our solar system, the heliopause, the boundary between the sun's influence and interstellar space seems to be behaving in strange and unexpected ways. This boundary isn't the static barrier scientists once thought it was. Over the last decade, data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, our intrepid explorers beyond the heliosphere, combined with observations from NASA's interstellar boundary explorer, IBEX satellite, have revealed that the heliopause is far more dynamic than anticipated. Eric Zernstein, a space physicist at Princeton University, explains, the Voyager spacecraft gives us the only direct measurements of these boundaries, but only from a single point in space and time. IBEX complements this data by tracking energetic neutral atoms, ENAs, produced when solar winds collide with the interstellar medium. These observations have led scientists to build models predicting how the heliopause might shift in the future. Essentially, the solar winds and interstellar medium push against each other, causing this boundary to constantly change. Yet, recent findings have thrown a wrench into these theories. In 2014, IBEC reported an unexpected brightening of ENAs, indicating that the heliopause might be lopsided, contrary to what models did. Further investigation revealed that the heliopause had moved significantly in a short span of time, which explains the large gap between Voyager 1's and Voyager 2's entries into interstellar space, 2012 and 2018, respectively. As scientists gear up for the launch of NASA's new interstellar mapping and acceleration probe in 2025, which will delve deeper into ENA detection, we're left to ponder these mysteries of the solar system's eerie frontier. Recently, the Voyager probes have delivered even more jaw-dropping revelations. As they ventured deeper into the cosmos, they sent back crucial data about the heliosphere. Beyond the heliopause, where the sun's influence fades, the voyagers encountered an astonishing increase in cosmic rays, sparking a major rethink of our understanding of the interstellar medium and the environment outside our solar system. The data from the voyagers on magnetic fields, plasma waves, and cosmic rays is transforming our grasp of interstellar space and the forces shaping our galaxy. Despite their age and the harsh conditions of space, NASA is carefully managing their remaining power to keep the missions running as long as possible. With proper energy conservation and by shutting down non-essential systems, these remarkable spacecrafts are expected to continue their journey until at least 2030. Their mission also underscores the vital role of robotic exploration in expanding our understanding of the universe. Gravity assist techniques were also a game changer for the Voyager missions, turning them into legendary interstellar journeys. As Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 embarked on their ambitious quest to explore the far reaches of our solar system, they faced a challenge. Their propulsion systems alone couldn't provide the power needed to reach these distant destinations and gather priceless data. Enter gravity, a key player in this cosmic adventure. Think of gravity assists as a celestial dance. This technique, known as a gravitational slingshot, allows a spacecraft to gain velocity by swinging around a planet and stealing a bit of its momentum. Take Voyager 1, for example. As it approached Jupiter, the largest gas giant in our solar system, 
it needed to hit just the right angle and speed. Thanks to the brilliant calculations of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Voyager 1 used Jupiter's gravity to slingshot itself forward, gaining the necessary acceleration for its journey. It's a high-stakes maneuver that requires pinpoint precision, approach at the wrong angle or speed, and the mission could have ended in disaster. Voyager 2 also benefited from this gravitational choreography. By using gravity assistance from Jupiter and Saturn, it made its way to Uranus and Neptune, completing an extraordinary tour of the solar system. Gravity assists are deceptively simple in concept, but incredibly complex to execute. The success of Voyager 2's grand tour depended on the flawless execution of these slingshots, proving that with the right celestial partners and precise calculations, the universe is within reach. The enduring success of the Voyager missions showcases the ingenuity and dedication of the scientists, engineers, and technicians who brought these probes to life. Despite the vast distances and extreme conditions, the Voyagers have provided groundbreaking insights that have reshaped our knowledge of the solar system and beyond. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments below.